Hey everyone, it's Ariel, and we're back to another episode of Ariel and Tari Gaming. We're back to Idle Heroes with the new event. And instead of it being profit orbs right after Heroic Scrolls like normal, this time they're throwing uh, the shop event and the chests at us. So a little shake up there. I was a little bit disappointed. I was pretty ready for the profit orbs, but we could go this route too. Um, as I always say, you know, the first three chests are really good. Um, oh, also, sorry for the late video this week. Things have been really crazy here. I'm recording pretty late trying to get this done. <laughs> but the first three chests are a good value. You get really great stuff. I pretty much would ignore the 4K one. <sighs> Like, I really don't think that's worth it. Um, but uh, the 6K one, in they're, they're offering a new um, limited skin for Starlight called Pajama Party. Um, yeah, I'm not a big Starlight fan. I like how she looks, but yeah. I'm more interested in the guild coin. I need guild coins so bad and speaking of guild coins they updated um, the tech so when you max out your tech ring now when you click on this it switches over and um, I clicked on it earlier uh, out of curiosity and <laughs> it had a little description I'll throw up a screenshot of that um, but yeah, so we get to pick from these different things, um, to level up and, um, for what I understand, it's going to take quite a bit of guild coins to actually max this ring as well. Um, obviously, you know, there's the, each specific class you take less damage from, um, obviously the one at the top right now is Ada, so that would be Mage. Uh, you can get twine immune, petrify immune, freeze immune, and stun immune. So that's pretty cool. Um, I imagine it, it goes up at a one per, a rate of one percent per thing. So that means you get like twenty percent resistance to any one of these status ailments. Ugh, it's not gonna stop. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> um, so that's pretty cool. I mean, it's an alternative way to get some status ailment resistance since most of the good status ailment resistant things are on artifacts, which cost a ton of money, like the really good artifacts, um, you know, i.e. the magic stone sword. It gives you 10% control immune, but 3,300 in the shop event, uh, if you're lucky, like this shop event's a little bit weird too. They've been shaking things up and I can't tell if, if they're trying to be proactive or if they're just getting grabby for money because the lowest hero this time is 2,500, which 2,500 collection items for the shop is like, you got good drop rates. So the odds of you getting it are kind of based on luck and if you, as, if you log in and make sure you don't ever let it hit max and that kind of thing and you get lucky then maybe you can get Valentino for free um, and Valentino is a pretty good hero he has a lot of stun abilities and things like that so he's he's still pretty cool um, I like him I just I don't really run mages so I've never really used him, but I, I know he's sort of dropped in his usefulness just a little bit, but he's still pretty, he's pretty awesome. But then instead of like a 3,100 cost hero and then like a 27 or a 28 cost hero, 27 or 2,800 cost hero, they have two 2,750s. And on average, you only get 2,400 to 2,500 shop collection things so and the shop items are ridiculously expensive so say you got 2500 you still need 250 more i mean and those prices speak for themselves i, I like that's 
crazy. That's way too much money for one extra copy of one of these heroes. Like that's just insane. And I feel like they're pricing Valentino at 2,500 because it's sort of like a, oh look, he's right there. So if you fall just short, ooh, well if you only spend $10, you can make up that little bit of difference. And it's like, but that's not worth it. That's so, ugh, I don't like it. I'm not a fan. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna be going, I'm probably going to go for the skin box again because I'm desperately trying to get one of the good skins. I really need Valk skin and of course I want to buy Aspen skin so, so badly it hurts but Valkyrie is my only E5 right now so I know that she needs the skin more than Aspen does despite how much I like it. So I feel like if I get the box, I'll have at least one more shot at getting a useful skin and then I can decide how to spend my relics. Um, other than that, as per usual, you wanna go for profit orbs or scrolls. Those are always great buys in the shop event. Um, I may end up buying the big chest this time around. I'm kinda of to the point now where I don't need to buy these as frequently. I need the guild coins like I just I need those guild coins and then I mean of course it also comes with an orange artifact which can never hurt and I mean there's several orange artifact uh, things that I've never even gotten I've gotten the spear one like four freaking times and the armor one another four times and and then I got that orb one once and I, I need one of those vials, the magic, magic source. I think it's called magic source. I still don't have one of those. So I have no like energy boosting type artifacts and so on some heroes, those are really valuable to have and I don't have any. So having another shot in a, in a good orange artifact might not be a bad idea. Um, and then I'm just desperate for limited skins that I'm actually going to use. <sighs> so yeah, we're just, I'm just kind of playing this one by ear. We'll see how many I get on collection by the end of it. And then I'll probably make a choice on these, on this chest a little bit later. I'm probably going to buy the 6k. Um, so as far as the end of last event with the heroic scroll event, I did make it to 400. So I did get the extra copy of Aspen. He's right there. He's ready to go. Um, and I had a surprise drop on my very final 10 times pull. I got um, an extra cruise copy from heroic scroll, which I think is the first time I've gotten an actual genuinely useful hero from Heroic Scrolls, so that was pretty epic. I was pretty stoked for that. Um, they, I, I, they also updated it where, let's see, is it in here? Yeah, if you click the little eye, it actually shows you the percentage chance of these things dropping. So this explains why we didn't see Aspen at all during the drop because his actual base percentage is 0.0057%. So twice that would only be like a 0.01% chance. So it was still abysmal like it like there was still a terribly terribly low drop chance but yeah yeah so i just it, it was when it said oh you have doubled the chance of this happening now you see oh double the chance is actually not that great so yeah little bit disappointed on that <sighs> But it, they actually, you know, they show you the drop rate on even the four stars and even, you know, the three stars. It looks like the three stars other than the light and dark are all the same. And then the four stars all have equal chance to drop. 
and in fact the light and darks have slightly increased ch chance to drop so that's interesting Parog scrolls are kind of a way to fodder farm for light and dark I guess and then of course basic summons the five star drop rate is just terrible for anything which would explain why you know most people never see one even if they've played for you know a year plus you, you just don't see it and then they've got the friendship summon drop rates and it shows you the different heroes so there's a limited pool of five stars you can get from friendship summons it looks like there's only certain certain ones you can get here i mean it is the same in basic but so that's interesting that they actually gave us the exact percentages so that's really cool that they did that um i'm gonna just cut a kind of them to reveal that sort of detailed information um but uh yeah so this this one is sort of a just sit and wait don't let your thing fill up past 10 hours as i always say 10 hours is when it caps and it stops collecting so make sure you come back and you collect before then i may have already screwed that up because we were super busy today and i got on like in the morning and didn't get on again until pretty late at night so i may have missed out on some of my maps already i'm not sure <laughs> we'll just see what happens at the end how much i end up with but yeah this event's pretty straightforward um i don't think they changed a whole lot else they changed the guild tech um and then Oh yeah, they oh the profit tree too. They showed they changed they they show you the percentages on the profit tree even. So even on the profit tree, if you're trying to debate what to do and what you're going for, you can see what your odds are of something dropping. So that's pretty cool to see. Um, I'm kind of curious as to what Horus's drop rate is. 0.28% and I actually got him to drop so that's pretty awesome I think I got him to drop twice actually um, so I'm pretty proud of myself for that uh, and then last time when we did pulls in Fortress we got multiple Zias and multiple Ormuses uh, and then we'll see is it will it show or was I overlooking Maybe the odds are standing for both branches and um, replacement. It's, it must be the same. So if you're replacing, it does, it's the same percent chance as if you're pulling um, for certain heroes to drop. But that's cool. So they show you, you the actual percent chance, which is really awesome. I love that they were willing to give out that sort of information. That's a lot of information to have for players. Um, a lot of games won't give you that. They'll just be like, oh, you have a chance and best of luck. Now you can actually see the actual percent chance of something dropping. So that's really cool that they added that. And then I think that was it for this update. Um, the, of course, if you haven't heard yet, the Phoenix is coming in the monsters. The Phoenix is coming very soon. Um, it's not here yet, but it will be here soon. And so make sure you're ready for that. It's gonna take a lot of monster stuff and a lot of gold to upgrade that thing, but it's supposedly supposed to be pretty good. There's supposed to be some I, I mean, the the video they showed of it was only with one hero, so you could see some healing happening, you could see, you know, other things, and it, it, it but it left you questioning, because it says there was only one heal, or one hero, it was like, okay, so is it a target heal on one hero, or is it going to be a group heal, like, what is this, and... So we're just gonna have to wait and see for this new monster to come out. I've been waiting for it for a while. It's been rumored for quite some time. Kind of like the Zia rework. I'm still waiting on that. Um, but yeah, so just sitting, waiting, getting ready for more fodder farming. And then, you know, once you get to that point with the fodder farming, then it's gonna be like, bam. And that's when all the good stuff's gonna happen 
to change my team up a bit with some better heroes. And it's going to be really cool. I'm excited for it. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> but anyway, this event, straightforward. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. See ya!